Senator from New Hampshire. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask that the quorum call be lifted. Without objection. Thank you. I, I'm here, Mr. President, to speak in favor of um, the entire appropriations legislation that's before us, but particularly the Commerce, Justice, and Science Appropriations Bill. Um, and I want to thank Senator Mikulski for her leadership on this and all of the members of that subcommittee who have worked on this portion of the appropriations legislation before us. Um, given the current financial constraints that we're facing, I know that this has been an especially difficult time to be trying to address the needs in the critical areas of our federal budget, particularly with respect to commerce, science, and justice. Um, but I'm here to speak to the section of the bill that deals with the Federal Bureau of Prisons. And I'm here on behalf of New Hampshire because we have a particular interest in this section of the legislation because it directs the Bureau of Prisons to activate three federal prisons which are currently built but are not yet open. And one of those prisons is in Berlin, New Hampshire, in the northernmost part of our state. I last came to the floor last spring when we were debating the 2011 continuing resolution to talk about this issue of opening the Berlin prison because it was completed and not yet open. The prison is a medium security prison. It was completed last November at a cost of $276 million. And since November, when the project was completed, it's been costing us $4 million um, in, to maintain security at the prison, to make sure that damage is not done to this new facility. We've had a warden on board since about that time, but she's not been able to hire any of the staff she needs to activate this prison. And since that time, when I last came to the floor, our federal prison system has gotten even more overcrowded. Last spring, I talked about the fact that our prison system was 35 percent overcrowded and that for medium security uh, facilities, it was 39 percent overcrowded. But since that time, we've had a net increase of 7,541 federal prisoners in our system. So now our entire prison system is 39 percent overcrowded and medium security prisons are 51 percent over capacity. So if we're going to ensure safety, we need to begin to open some of these new facilities. And I'm very pleased that we've got um, language in the Commerce, Justice, and Science bill that would address opening these new facilities, including the Berlin prison. This is a project that has bipartisan support. Uh, the new prison in Berlin was started under President Bush. It was continued under President Obama. The congressional delegation in New Hampshire supports the facility. Um, it will create about 340 jobs in a region of the state that is very much in need of new jobs because it's lost a lot of its manufacturing base because the paper industry has moved offshore. It would have an impact of about $40 million to the region of the state where it's located, which is, again, very important for a region that economically is in need of jobs and need of economic activity. The community of Berlin has already spent $3 million for water and sewer upgrades. And since 2008, um, the residents of Berlin, local businesses, the state workforce development officers have been preparing for the prison to open. Uh, the community and local government officials have partnered with the business community to coordinate their resources. They've been waiting for these jobs. When the New Hampshire Department of Employment Security first began reaching out to people in the North Country about the opportunities of the work job seekers. We've been talking a lot about job creation here in this Congress. And now we have an opportunity to act on this bill 
uh, to get people back to work in northern New Hampshire. Families in New Hampshire and across the country are struggling. We need the jobs this legislation is going to create. And at a time when we should be focused on reining in wasteful spending, we can't continue to spend millions of taxpayer dollars to maintain an empty building. So this funding is good economic policy, it's good fiscal policy, and I certainly intend to support this piece of the appropriations legislation before us, and I hope all of my colleagues will do the same. Thank you, Madam President.